We want to first get right to that important new development in the Knox case. CBS News correspondent Michelle Miller has the story. It was Amanda Knox's biggest victory since she first walked into the Perugia courtroom over two years ago. A report by an independent review panel said that the methods used to collect the DNA evidence that eventually convicted the former exchange student was not up to international standards. Now that we are hearing that there's uh, contamination and that whatever DNA is on that, uh, that knife uh, has not been uh, evaluated properly, they have to throw that item out from evidence. In the 145-page report, experts say that DNA samples obtained from the blade are unreliable and that samples from the bra clasp collected more than six weeks after the murder could have been contaminated. In the first trial, initial tests found victim Meredith Kircher's DNA on the knife blade and Knox's DNA on the handle and DNA from co-defendant Rafaele Solecito on Kircher's bra clasp. The defense argued that the knife was not the murder weapon and that the bra evidence was tainted. Because this is a case with no motive and no witnesses, the DNA evidence is extremely important. If the DNA evidence is out, Amanda Knox could be freed. But not everything has been going in Knox's favor. Earlier this week, Rudy Gayday, who is serving a 16-year sentence for his role in Kircher's murder, testified that Knox and Solecito were responsible for the murder, something Knox's mother says isn't true. I wish um, he would, you know, develop some integrity and just get up and tell the truth, and the truth is that Amanda wasn't there. With the DNA evidence all but discredited, Knox's defense team is confident the 24-year-old will be home in time for Christmas. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.